jungle was giving a party, a post-hibernation ball. The ballroom was crowded with waltzing gazelles, gorillas, and zebras, and all. But who is that animal almost in tears, pretending to powder her nose? A poor little warthog who sits by herself in a pink satin dress with blue bows. Again she is nobody's choice, and she sings in a sad little voice. No one ever wants to court a warthog, though a warthog does her best. I've spent a lot of money for a warthog. I am kiss-proofed and prettily dressed. I luster rinsed my hair, dabbed perfume here and there. My gums were tinted when I brushed my teeth. I'm young and in my prime, but a wallflower all the time, cause I'm a warthog, just a warthog. I'm a warthog underneath. Take your partners for a ladies' excuse me. Excited and radiant, she runs on the floor to join the furore and fuss. She taps on each shoulder and says, excuse me. And each couple replies, excuse us. Then having no manners at all, they sing as they dance round the hall. No one ever wants to court a warthog, though a warthog does her best. Her accessories are dazzling for a warthog. She is perfumed and daringly dressed. We know her these and those are like Brigitte Bardot's. Her gown is just a scintillating sheet. But she somehow fails to please Cause everybody sees that she's a warthog Just a warthog She's a warthog underneath Head hanging She wanders away from the floor This warthog who nobody loves then stops in amazement, for there, at the door, stands a gentleman warthog impeccably dressed in the act of removing his gloves. His fine chiseled face seems to frown as he looks her first up and then down. I fancy you must be a sort of warthog, Though for a warthog you look a mess. That makeup's far too heavy for a warthog. You could have chosen a more suitable dress. Did you have to dye your hair? If that's perfume, give me air. I strongly disapprove of scarlet teeth. But let us take the floor. Cause I'm absolutely sure that you're a warthog. Just a warthog, the sweetest little, neatest little, dearest and completest little warthog underneath. I was taking compass bearings for the ordnance survey by an army training camp on Salisbury Plain. I'd packed up my theodolite, was calling it a day, when I heard a voice that sang a sad refrain. Oh, my darling armadillo, let me tell you of my love. Listen to my armadillo rondole. Be my fellow on my pillow underneath this weeping willow. 
Be my darling armadillo all the day. I was somewhat disconcerted by this curious affair. For a single armadillo you will own. On Salisbury Plain in summer is comparatively rare, and a pair of them is practically unknown. Drawn by that mellow solo there, I followed on my bike to discover what these armadillo lovers would be like. Oh, my darling armadillo, how delightful it would be if for us those silver wedding bells would chime. Let the orange blossom below, you need only say I will. Oh, be my darling armadillo all the time. Then I saw them in a hollow by a yellow muddy bank, one armadillo singing to an armor-plated tank. Should I tell him, gaunt and rusting with the willow tree above, this abandoned on maneuvers is the object of your love? I left him to his singing, cycled home without a pause. Never tell a man the truth about the one that he adores. On the breeze that follows sunset, I could hear that sad refrain, singing willow, 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 down the way. And I seem to hear it still, oh, vive l'amour, vive l'armadillo, be my darling armadillo all the day, be my darling bear, tracked a cobra to its lair, killed a crocodile who dared to cross my path. But the thing I really dread when I've just got out of bed is to find that there's a spider in the bath. I've no fear of wasps or bees, mosquitoes only tease. I rather like a cricket on the hearth. But my blood runs cold to meet in pajamas and bare feet with a great big hairy spider in the bath. I have faced a charging bull in Barcelona. I have dragged a mountain lioness from a cub. I've restored a mad gorilla to its owner, but I don't dare face that tub. What a frightful looking beast, half an inch across at least. He would frighten even Superman or Garth. There's contempt it can't disguise in the little beady eyes of the spider sitting glowering in the bath. It ignores my every lodge with the backbrush and the sponge. I have bombed it with a present from Panath. But it doesn't mind at all. It just rolls into a ball and simply goes on squatting in the bath. For hours now we've been locked in endless struggle. I have lured it to the deep end by the drain. At last I think I've washed it down the plug hole. But here it comes a-crawling up the chain! Now it's time for me to shave and my nerves will not behave and there's bound to be a fearful aftermath. So before I cut my throat, I shall leave this final note driven to it by the spider in the bath. If you 
in the loud bush in the African bush and an animal comes to the fore who is basically pig but more hairy and big you'll find you have met with a boar. You are glued to the spot, will he kill you or not? No need to have fears about that. Now he's made you stand fast and you're cornered at last. All he wants is a nice little chat. But don't be misled, soon you'll wish you were dead, that instead he were after your go. Well, oh, oh, what a bore he is. What a thundering, thumping bore. And his grunts, he will tell you of hunts where for days he deluded the field. Then he'll tell you his sow should be farrowing now and enlarge on her annual yield. He will say with an air that for brushing the hair his bristles the elegant thing, and proudly confide they are after his hide for no less a man than a king. Then a joke he will try as you stifle a sigh and deny that you'd heard it before, thinking, oh, Oh, what a bore he is! What a thundering, thumping bore! As you laugh at his joke, ha 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 I'm a popular bloke, he will think. When you're ready to burst, then hello there, he'll cry to each poor passerby. The ones who have not seen him first. For on sight of the beast they will run to the east and the north and the west and the south And long for the day when his head's on a tree with a lemon to stop up his mouth They'll shout as they run, he's an excellent son and a wonderful fellow is sure But oh, oh, what a boy he is, what a thundering thumping